Hey YouTube, Mark Gunnison here. I'm learning about electronics and sharing what I'm learning. And in this video, we're going to talk about the RC time constant, which is the time it takes a capacitor to charge when it's limited by a resistor. The one thing I don't talk about in this video, which is a very important concept, is how the current is flowing through the uh, circuit. So anyhow, besides that, here we go. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of experimenting with the standard RC circuit and the math is really simple for this in order to calculate the time that it takes for the capacitor to charge it's just r times c so a pretty pretty simple calculation so uh, i've brought it up on the uh, digikey website here they got a nice little calculator so i've got uh, five volts which is what we've got set over here uh, 470 uh, microfarads, which is the capacitor that I've got in here, a 10K resistor, which is what I've got it wired up to. And according to this, it should take 4.7 seconds for the circuit to charge. So we've got the oscilloscope over here so we can see it rise. We've got the voltage, we can see it here. And I've got a little stopwatch. So uh, let's see how long it takes. So here we go. So two volts at three seconds. So there's uh, five, six seconds. We're, we're way beyond. And uh, it's still not to five volts. 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, uh, 4.9. It's taken a while. Still not to five volts. Uh, there we go. Five volts, 22 seconds. So 22 seconds is a whole lot, well, I know you can't see this, but a whole lot longer than the calculated uh, 4.7 seconds. So uh, what's the problem? And of course the problem is that in order to get to four point, the calculated uh, 4.7 seconds, which is the, the RC uh, time together, uh, that, that is really uh, 63 point something percent of the voltage rise. Uh, and that's where the calculation's at. So let's turn off our voltage, uh, short out our capacitor, bring it back down, and let's try it again. And, uh, well, let's see, wait a minute. So if we take five volts times 0.63, uh, 3.15 volts. So let's see how long it takes to get to 3.15 volts. So we'll turn it on, one volt to, Three, so I hit the button just I hit it just a tad early, but I've got uh, 4.57 seconds, uh, which is just a tad ahead of 4.7 seconds. So the math checks out. Um, and of course, it took me a little bit of playing around <laughs> before I figured that out. And of course, I had read that, but uh, it didn't sink in. And that's why you need to really play with stuff in order to understand what's what's going on. So the, the second problem that we ran into, though, is uh, this is the, the RC circuit, but the whole point of doing this is because you want to do something over here. You know, there's some, uh, some reason that, that you, want to, you want to set that delay. And, of course, what you've got here is you've got a voltage divider. And so this uh, voltage that's right here is not, it's, it's never gonna make it to the full five volts. So for example, if we set this up so that we're going to turn on a LED, let's turn that off, turn this back on, and let's see how long it takes for the LED to come on. So we'll, There it is. So 2.78 seconds. So, uh, and of course, as you can see, the the voltage uh, that we've got, yeah, I mean, it's only going to come up to 2.3 volts because the LED is here, and uh, you know, it's it's eating up that current. So that's that's all we're going to get. So let's turn that off. Discharge it. So if we if we want to if we want to end up with 4.7 volts, uh, we need to first figure out. I've got this set. Uh, set this to the LED. Oops, the LED setting, and let's pull out our LED. 
And let's see what the forward voltage of the LED is when we turn it on. And of course, we kind of know this from looking at it over there. But this says 2.2 volts. So let's put that back into our circuit. There we go. Let's uh, get that discharging fully while we work on it. So if it's 2.2 volts, so if we take 2.2 divided by uh, 0.63, we get uh, basically 4.5 volts. So if we want it to take 4.7 seconds for this to turn on, we want our forward voltage to be four or, th or three and a half, three and a half volts. So lucky for me, my little homemade uh, voltmeter over here, the lower setting is 3.4 volts. So if we turn that off and reset this. So now let's run 3.4 volts and see how long it takes to turn on uh, the LED. And there's the, the LED. So uh, 4.85 seconds, which is pretty much what it what the math says. So, so if you want to run this equation, you got to kind of backdoor in to what, you, what the voltage is going to be here uh, in, in, in order to make the math work. So, um, so anyway, I've been playing around with this for a while <laughs> with the... Uh, uh, different voltage dividers, different rise times, uh, uh, and uh, really have been learning a lot. And so if you want to learn something, the key is not just to read the book, not just to do the math, and not just to do the experiment that they, that they give you, but then play around with it. Think, well, why am I doing this? And, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, how, how, would I, how might I use this in a, in a circuit? Yeah, so that you can actually play with it and learn something and actually see how, see how it works. Because I, now I feel like I've actually got a pretty good feel uh, for this whole RC calculation, even though it's, it's rather simple. So uh, anyway, uh, that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Are you still here? <laughs>